William Monroe Trotter was born on a farm in Springfield, Ohio to Virginia and James Trotter, who both played a part in ending racial segregation. He attended an all-white high school where he was elected president of a senior class and was named valedictorian. He then went to Harvard and became the first African American to receive the Phi Beta Kappa honor. And then following college, he then tried to get into real estate, but then was denied because of his race. Later in life, he and W.E.B. Du Bois founded the Niagara Movement, a precursor to the NAACP. He then left after a disagreement over whether to admit women into the group. Upon leaving, he went on to found the National Equal Rights League. And later on, he had a volatile interview with Woodrow Wilson concerning segregation, after Wilson showed his support for the segregation of black federal employees in the workplace. Trotter died on April 7th of 1934, but his legacy still lives on in his life's work. He led numerous nonviolent protests and demonstrations against conservative black leaders like Booker T. Washington for being too accommodating, and attacked films and plays that glorified the Ku Klux Klan. At that time, Trotter's confrontational tactics were highly controversial, but his activism and approach became a model for the civil rights movements from 1940 to 1970.